Hey everyone, it's Justin. Uh, today I want to show you how to back up your Salesforce data. So this is going to include things like accounts, contacts, uh, opportunities, etc. Uh, so we're going to be using a native Salesforce and it's going to be all for free. Uh, this is kind of a follow-up video to um, how to back up your Salesforce metadata. So that includes um, things like Apex classes, custom fields, uh, things of that nature. If you want to go and, and, and look at that, you can go and, and look at that up at the card in the, in the top right. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started with the video. So what we're going to do is we're inside a setup. Uh, the tool I'm talking about is, of course, data exports. Now, this is available to all Salesforce orgs, so if you're on Professional Edition, Enterprise, Unlimited, um, Essentials, it doesn't matter, it's all here and available for you to use. Uh, the difference being how often you can schedule, so if you're on Professional or Under, then you can only schedule once a month, uh, Enterprise and above, you can schedule uh, once a week. Uh, so you can see here, I can either schedule a, an a, an export or I can export now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go through the schedule options first. Um, but um, you can see that there's a file format. So I just recommend uh, the ISO 8859. Uh, this is very standard. Uh, if you know you live in 2021 or, or beyond, then uh, this file format is going to work great for you. Um, if you live before then, I'm sorry, um, but nevertheless, uh, include images, documents, and attachments. So these are the how Salesforce uh, Classic stores documents. Uh, so if you want to back that up, then you select this. Now, the downside of doing that is if you're doing a schedule, um, then this may cause you to... Um, if you're doing a schedule, then this may cause like a lot of excess data that you don't need. Uh, the files, documents, etc., are are very large in comparison to uh, the majority of your data. So I I wouldn't recommend it selecting this if you are doing a mere export uh, or a, if you're doing a scheduled export. But if you're just doing a one-time export, then I definitely include this. Um, Salesforce files and CRM content document versions. Uh, so this is how Salesforce Lightning stores data, or not data, but your documents and your files. Um, the specifics behind that isn't too important. I would just say that, uh, again, follow the previous rule about if you're doing a schedule, then probably back up. Otherwise, I wouldn't bother. Uh, or the other way around. So if you're doing a scheduled, um, don't bother. If you're just doing a one time, then yeah, back it up. Uh, and replace carriage returns with spaces. Um, this is this option's fine. This is talking about um, kind of the Windows new line character. I I wouldn't worry about it too much. This you just replace it with with spaces. It's fine. Your uh, developers that are on Linux will um, love you a lot more. Uh, and then in specifically with the frequency. Um, because I'm on, I'm actually in a, a trailhead org, so this is the developer edition, so I can only schedule it once a month. But you can see here, it's I can do it on, you know, the the twelfth of every or the thirteenth of every month or whatever, or I could do it on the first Sunday, first Monday, you know, whatever. Okay, and then you have a range and a preferred start time. Um, pretty pretty standard stuff there. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and cancel and go to the export now. Uh, but the only difference between these is just the scheduling window. Uh, but if I go to export now, then you can see everything's the same, except um, you don't have that scheduling window, obviously. And you can see here this exported data. So select what type of information you would like to include in the exports. Uh, so these are the objects that... Um, that you would, will uh, have the data for. Uh, so you'll notice here I have the include all data selected. So that means every single object, including objects that you uh, probably have never heard of, um, are going to be exported, which is probably fine for, for most all use cases. 
uh, and this also includes custom objects, etc. So every single file um, or every single uh, object can get every single record exported like this. And so what will happen is if you press start export, um, then it'll export and this will go to uh, the user who ran the export. So this is, my, uh, this is ran by me. So I'm going to get an email from, um, from Salesforce uh, saying that my export's available and it'll bring a, it'll give me a link to, um, to the data. So I'm going to go ahead and cut to uh, show you that email. Okay, so as you can see right here on the screen here, I have a screenshot of the email that Salesforce sends you. It's a simple text uh, format, and the main thing is just that it gives you a link. Uh, so if you click on that link, which will be specific to your org, uh, you'll follow it, and it'll bring you to this page, as you, as you can see here on screen. Uh, so again, very similar. I'm in classic now, whatever. Um, and I can go ahead and download the file. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, and what this is is a zip file of all the of all your objects. So think of I mean, if you go through Trailhead, they're like think of every object as a, a table, or you know, and then each row in a CSV as a record. So very you know similar model as you can see. Um, I think if I go to accounts, which of course is at the bottom because it's sort of reverse uh, alphabetically, uh, I'm going to go ahead and open this and then bring that to you so you can see it, uh, its format, but it'll export every single field for uh, every single object and then for every single record. So you'll get literally the entire organization's uh, data. So. Let me pull up the account CSV and we can just briefly go over that. Okay, so as you can see here, I have the account data pulled up from uh, the spreadsheet. You can see there's um, you know, ID, name, type, parent ID, billing street, etc. I mean, these are all just the, the test records or, or maybe there's some records from some, some trailhead. I, I'm not sure, but... Um, this is everything, and then you can go and, and look at, you know, owner ID, rating. Um, there's just so much more. Uh, I, don't, I don't, you know, I don't know what all these fields necessarily are, but you have all the data, um, and you can see that here. And again, this is for every record and um, for every object as well. So very clean, simple way uh, to do this as well as it's free, which is great. I, I think that using Salesforce tools when, when they're available and when they're good and when they're not locked behind, um, upgrading to a higher version of Salesforce is always, uh, uh, always good for, for the Salesforce customers. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next video. Take care.